Hello, welcome to Enchanted Paths Tarot. Today, this video is about starting from square one regarding witchcraft. I've had an extended period of physical illness and I wasn't able to continue my normal witchcraft practice for quite a period of time. So I'm starting over again at square one with baby steps in order to rebuild my psychic senses and to get used to working with energy consciously again. The first thing that I'm going to do, the first thing that anyone should do before they start any witchcraft practice, is to ground yourself. What is grounding? Grounding is being connected to the planet Earth where we live, Grounding is being connected to the 3D world, this dimension that we live in, the here and now, your physical body, the dirt, the trees, the blood running through your veins, the animals, your family, the here and now. And the easiest way to do that, as far as I'm concerned, is just to imagine yourself, visualize yourself being connected to the earth. So I'm going to take you on a tiny little meditation today to help you ground yourself. We're going to stand in one spot or sit comfortably in one spot. It's best if your legs are not crossed and if your feet are flat on the ground, if you're sitting in a chair. Get yourself comfortable, whatever works for you. Now you're going to close your eyes and I want you to take in some slow, deep breaths. Blow out slowly also. Breathe in to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Breathe out to the count of four. One, two, three, four. And just keep breathing like that and concentrate on your breathing and your counting. While you're breathing, in and out slowly. Imagine you're looking down at your feet and you see roots beginning to grow out of the bottoms of your feet. You follow these roots as they continue to go downward. They come out of your feet and they go through the floor. And then through the floor, they go down into the earth. You can see the roots of trees and grass as you go downward. You continue your journey with the roots going downward and you get into a lot of silt and sand and oil and water and you pass through all of these. You see the bones of the ancestors and the civilizations that lived before us in this dirt and you continue to go down further and further and further follows those roots all the way down until you are suddenly in a cavern it is a giant underground cave you look all around you and you see all sorts of prehistoric formations and stones and stalactites. And there is also within this wonderful cavern, a river of lava. You walk over to the river of lava and look at it. It's beautiful. It's also terrifying. <laughs> you are at the very center of this planet, this planet that we live on, that I call Mother Earth. You are in the womb of the mother. That great lava river supplies you with life force and it keeps you connected to where you are in the 3D reality. You are safe here. You can be comfortable here. Feel the warmth emanating from the lava river and enveloping you with a feeling of coziness and safety. Ah, 
Doesn't that feel great? You can sit here and enjoy this for a little while. Look all around you. Feel the security. Feel the strength. Feel the life force. And now it's time for you to leave the womb of Mother Earth. You're going to leave your roots here and just follow your roots all the way back. You will always have a connection to Mother Earth here in this place. Look upward and you see those roots and you can go right up them as if you're climbing a tree. You'll follow those back up through the oil and the silt and the water and the rocks, back through the bones of the ancestors and the civilizations that lived before you, back through the tree roots and the grass roots, and back through your floor and into your feet, and now you are fully back in your body. Rub your hands together, pinch yourself, take some deep cleansing breaths, <sighs> look all around you, take note of where you are, remind yourself who you are. If you need to, you can eat a tiny bit of salt or get a drink of cold water. These will help bring you fully back to where you are. Doing this exercise every day is one of the first things that all witches need to do in order to stay sane and grounded while practicing witchcraft. I hope that this meditation will be helpful for you. You can listen to it anytime that you need to. And there are also plenty of other grounding meditations out there that you can listen to that are quite different, but absolutely just as effective. That's all for today. Have a great day and stay grounded.